Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about photoelectric effect and the basic observations that are made regarding the photoelectric effect. First of all, to know what do you mean by photoelectric effect? It can be said like when a light of suitable frequency is allowed to strike a metal surface of suitable surface and there is emission of electrons from that metal surface that phenomena is called photoelectric effect some basic observations were made uh, basing on an experiment called something like lennart's experiment let us try to identify how does the experiment looks like something kind of a tube a metal surface is there who is going to act like a cathode on this metal surface we are allowing some kind of a light with a certain frequency and incident allowed to incident on it then there is another anode to create different scenarios this anode is connected to a rheostat this rheostat is further connected to a say further a variable voltage and then a key to control the situation and this is further connected to the rheostat as shown so this is a rough experimental arrangement therefore what are the things that were noticed it was noticed that the photoelectric effect is a instantaneous process so here we talk about only observations why do they are doing like so will be discussed in the next video lesson so photoelectric effect is found to be experimentally instantaneous that means what the moment light falls on the metal surface without any serious time delay that we can notice photoelectrons were appeared right that's the first observation that was being made it's an instantaneous process further it is noticed that if you don't give a kind of a voltage source here like it is mentioned the emitted electrons may not able to reach the anode because of the internal collisions that's going to happen so to support them to reach the other surface so that we can notice the photoelectric effect easily a kind of a voltage is applied it is noticed that if we increase the intensity of the light that is energy of the photoelectric light per unit surface area per unit time if you increase it is noticed that photoelectric current is also increasing of course this has a limit that uh, this can happen up to some extent after some time the photoelectric current reaches its maximum called saturation current after then even if you increase the intensity photoelectric current cannot increase why it happens we will be discussing in the further uh, video lesson right further it is noticed that uh, if we apply voltage in such a way that for the cathode negative plate of the battery for the anode plate of the battery then it is noticed that with the increase in applied voltage photoelectric current is also increasing it is further noticed that if we apply reverse voltage that is connecting the positive plate to the cathode and a negative plate to the anode it is noticed that with the keep on increasing the reverse voltage if reverse voltage is increased that is connecting a negative plate to the anode and a positive plate to the cathode at a particular reverse voltage photoelectric current became zero that particular reverse voltage is called stopping potential why it is happening we will be explaining in the next video lesson not in this video lesson so 
the reverse voltage applied at which photoelectric current becomes zero is called as stopping potential further if we draw a graph for the variation of this voltage with respect to the current applied voltage on x axis and the photoelectric current on y axis you increase the voltage photoelectric current is also increasing but somewhere it has reached a maximum called something like saturation current further current cannot increase even if you increase the voltage yeah it is noticed that if we increase the voltage photoelectric current is also increasing but current has reached a maximum called saturation current beyond that even if you increase the voltage photoelectric current is not going to increase so that the photoelectric current is decreasing and it is further noticed that uh, at a particular voltage which is called as a negative voltage called stopping potential photoelectric current became zero now say this is one particular intensity i1 if we repeat intensity i2 who is greater than that of the i1 it is noticed that the current is increasing it reaches a different saturation current but when you apply the reverse voltage the stopping current the stopping potential is same for both of them so what it is noticed is uh, the stopping potential that we are talking about is independent of it is noticed that the stopping potential is independent of intensity of the light that is used whatever may be the intensity stopping potential for a given metal surface is remaining same this is one more observation notice that this time let us say we'll draw again the same kind of a graph taking the voltage on x axis and we don't vary the intensity now let's vary the frequency keeping the intensity same for a particular intensity we got a graph like this where saturation is reached having a frequency in u1 intensity i next time it was noticed that if you vary the frequency in u2 still the same intensity of the light is used in the photoelectric effect the saturation current remained same but the stopping potential of the first case is not the same that of the second case when a different frequency is used it is noticed that stopping potential of the first case is not similar to that of the second case rather it is a different value it is further noticed that if the incident frequency is more than the more than that of the first case so what is further established is the stopping potential v not is not dependent on intensity rather it depends on incident frequency why it depends like so we will explain in the previous video lesson it is further noticed that if you draw a graph taking the incident frequency on x axis and stopping potential on y axis it is not starting from the origin that means there must be a minimum frequency once if it is started photoelectric effect is started it is noticed that with the increase of the incident frequency stopping potential is also increasing like directly proportional to each other it is further noticed that if the photo metal is changed with a different metal if you do even with the increase of the frequency where the photoelectric effect starts the respective frequency is different but it is noticed that the slope of these two graphs are same so these are the basic observations that were made with respect to photoelectric effect to summarize let us see what are the observations that were made first photoelectric effect is instantaneous process next it doesn't happens with all the frequencies but it happens starts from a particular frequency next intensity of incident light is directly proportional to photoelectric current next more the positive voltage that you apply more the current 
more the reverse voltage that you apply lesser the current for the at a particular reverse voltage photoelectric current becomes zero that's called stopping potential it is further experimentally observed that stopping potential of the photoelectric surface is independent of the intensity of the light it is further noticed that stopping potential is directly proportional to the frequency of instant light so these are all the observations that were being made how do we explain all this will be discussed in the next video lesson thank you for watching